Hey there, and welcome back to Success is Made. Today, we're diving even deeper into the fascinating world of AI video creation. If you caught my last episode, you know we've been exploring the incredible capabilities of stable video diffusion. If you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend checking it out after this video. This tool is pretty amazing. Now that I have a paid account, I wanted to run a few more tests with seven more images. I will also test if different renders can lead to entirely different videos. I use beautiful images created in mid-journey to use in stable video diffusion. And if you watch until the end, I will explain how you can get access to these images and also the videos made in the tool for this video. So get comfortable and let's unlock even more potential with stable video diffusion. Now we will create a few more images generated in Midjourney and see what stable video diffusion does with these images. And if we can get really good and high quality output. One of the images is this one. This is a variation of the image that we used in the previous video. In this image, the drops look a little bit more natural. In the previous image, the drops looked like glass cubes. So we're using this image and it's currently generating in the background in stable video diffusion. I also have a paid account in the meantime. So that means that we should be able to generate as many videos as we want, as long as I pay the bill, of course. I'll show you in the meantime, some other images that we generated with Midjourney. One of the images is this one, which is an actress on a film set. You see a uh, camera here. You see some other actors over there. So I've downloaded a high resolution version of this image. Another one is this, which is a film set, a film crew working on recording a scene with an actor in a very small space, showing the camera operator, light operator, audio man with boom pole, you see here the text and more. What's wrong with this image? I'm still using it, but what is wrong with this image is that some of the elements have not rendered or generated correctly. You see a weird artifact here, you see a face with an arm here. And you also see a blank face here. You see other elements like the, the total image, the total set looks really nice, but you see that it does have some issues, but I'm using it anyway. Then we have this weird looking humanoid Android as a cameraman on set. I like the depth of field in this image. I like the camera here, which is, seems to be connected to the Android using that image. I upscaled it already. Then we have a suspicious looking man here which could be a scene from the Matrix. It's a guy running tech and doing something that he should be not be doing, apparently. I really like the lighting in this image and I like the background. You can't really see it. So let's see what stable video diffusion does with this background. Here's another one. I made several versions, of course, because Midjourney always generates four images to start with. First, I upscaled this one, which is a non-existent camera on a dolly. But later I saw this one, which I like a lot more because it seems like an image from 1850 or something with very steampunky old tech around it. And also the color of the image looks very old. Like it, upscaled it already. Also curious to see what the uh, tool stable video diffusion does with an image that is square instead of uh, 16 by nine. So I didn't use or won't be using this one. I like this one, which could be an unused droid from a Star Wars movie. I like it because I also like the background and I like the very used universe. I think that George Lucas called it once. The universe with tact is actually used and looks worn out. I like the image. I also like this one in the same style. It's looking at some dried flowers or something. I will, by the way, also share these images with you for in case you're interested. You could use this as a wallpaper because it is, I think, pretty large. Let's open this, inspect, let's see how large it is. It is 1275 by 750. You know what? The images that I use for the videos, I don't need bigger or larger images, images for stable video diffusion. But in case you want to have these for your PC as a wallpaper or anything, I will render a new version and I'll put a link in the description so you can download them for free. So right now we should have quite a few images that we can use. And as I said in the inter introduction, I already used this one. And I now see that it's a WebP image and still stable video diffusion can work with WebP because I 
did upload it. So let's see what it did with image number one. Took the tool 113.396 seconds to come up with this, which I think is really nice. Depth of field is still correct. The tool or the AI knows what to do with these raindrops. So I'm downloading this very, very nice. So as you can see, these images are not full HD. They are 720, but of course you can upscale them like this. The next image is, let's go for the suspicious looking guy. Same 25 frames, crop to 16 by nine. Okay, running this. And in the meantime, I will show you the image again. So it is a guy with a very futuristic headset on. It looks a bit matrixy. This is connected to the guy and there's an awful lot of tech here. And it actually looks a little bit like my office behind this screen that you can't see, but let me show you anyway. Resized and crop dimensions, 1024 by 576. And why I'm sharing this on this channel is because I create videos all the time. I do that for training videos, for master classes, for uh, consulting uh, purposes, but also to promote my business. There is no better way to promote your business than through video content. And sometimes you just really need additional footage. You can, of course, always take stock images and stock footage, but at a certain moment, if you create as many videos as I do, then the content, the stock footage of a specific niche, you have used everything at a certain moment. So you are then repurposing, you're reusing content that you've used before. This could be a very good alternative. You see here that this face looks very much off. So this is not the quality that we're looking for. As I also explained before, this is just an indication of what the tech is capable of. Perhaps not now. Perhaps now the faces still look a bit weird in some of these generated videos. But if the videos already look like this today at the start of the AI revolution, just imagine what things will look like in a year from now or in a couple of years from now, because these images are still small, right? There are 720. The smallest aspect ratio that, that people use is 1080. But what it does already is generate stuff that is not actually in the image that was generated by Midjourney. So it's inventing, this tech is inventing things, especially in the background, that are not even there to begin with. So I'll run it again and see if it now handles his face and especially his eyes a little bit better. Here we are. Well, it looks a little bit better, I guess. His eyes are still strange and I think that the hand movement is completely different. Let's see that in detail. This is fascinating. If it's really that much different, this hand is completely still and his eyes are weird. This is, look at this, his hand. He's like typing something. And this is video number two. Look at this, like, look at his hand. Nice, really nice. Let's go for the next one. Taking the next image, which is, I'll take a droid this time. Yeah, I really like this image. So I'm running this, I'll show you the image. Here it is, a droid looking at dried flowers and it is better than most of the droids that are designed by Disney nowadays. Let's see if it's done. And yes, it is done. Look at this. What I was hoping for is actually the case. It keeps the very nice background, adds to it. So it has a 3D parallax kind of effect. And there's also some movement in the camera. So that makes it look even more real. So I'm downloading this really cool video, adding it to our collection in Premiere Pro. Of course, it's generating footage from part of the image that doesn't exist. So this here is all a bit weird. Okay, moving on to the next one. We have done the droid. We have done this one. We have done this character. Let's see what it does with the square image of the camera on the dolly. We'll ask it not to crop to 16 by nine, but to crop to, let's maintain the aspect ratio. Or let's see what it does if we do maintain the aspect ratio and if it just invents stuff that is not here. So everything that was cut off from this image, at least what you can't see in this image because it was generated as a square image. Let's see what it does with this side and the other side of the image. And of course, since there are wheels underneath this dolly, I hope that stable video diffusion does something with those wheels that the discard is driving around or something. I'll show you the full details of the image. It's pretty cool, eh? You see, it's not perfect. There's a dent here. There's something here on the lens 
you see that there is also something fishy going on here. There's detail missing, some detail missing here. This is a clear artifact, so this I think does not belong here. But in general, looking at the color of this image and the style of the furniture here and here and the very DIY style of this dolly cart, I'm really impressed with what Midjourney did here. Okay, here we are. And it doesn't drive around, unfortunately. And there's another thing, and that is that we did ask Stable Video Diffusion to maintain the aspect ratio, which is not exactly what I meant. I was trying to do a test. I will try it again, and this time I will not maintain aspect ratio, but I will crop it to six. It's not cropping anything, but at least change it to 16 by nine. And I hope that this time around, You've seen in the previous video that it does make significant changes between a first and a second render or can make significant changes. And right now, I hope that the next video will have stable video diffusion move this cart around because it doesn't have wheels for nothing, right? And we have the first success because it's changing the video dimensions to 1024 by 576. And let's see if it moves the cart around. Hashtag use the wheels. Camera work is interesting. The lens starts off okay and then it blurs into something that is not okay. Stable video diffusion does not really know what to do with this wheel. I think it realizes that there should be a wheel and that because of the camera movement that it should render, create an additional wheel, but it does not look okay. Anyway, let's download this. There we go. And the next one is, we could do the other droid, but let's do the, yeah, let's take this one first. The actress on the set. Let's see what it does. 84%, here it is. A lot of de detail. See how many people stable video diffusion just invents out of nothing behind her here there is a lady sit uh, standing here and it looks like a bride in a broom this could also be a bodyguard this could be a bodyguard she's holding something so it could be flowers all these people that you see here and yes they are very blurry there's no detail but all these people here this crowd of people is not even there on the image yes you see two people here some blurry shapes impressed with this result moving it to our collection and let's do the final one i'm pretty certain we have a sixth one we're missing one droid and we're missing the scary one like the terminator type skeleton crew member let's take that one first and here's the video the exact same depth of field it's increasing the saturation a little bit here's the video with three crew members here because as you've seen the prompt that i made was all about a film crew, a humanoid android as a cameraman on set. And the final one is the other droid, this one. Also really nice. So back to Stability AI. And here's the final one for this test. And it's almost as good as the previous video with the droid. The droid itself is very crisp and clear. There's nothing wrong with the eyes like there is with the human eyes. With uh, many of these videos with human eyes, something goes wrong with that image. The background is nice and blurry and well, you see the very small slice of whatever this is in the image and in the video that's a whole lot bigger. So it's uh, not really sure what it is, but there's data here that was not in the source image. I'm quite impressed with the result. I'll download everything. And these are all the images generated by Stable Video Diffusion. Early days in the image to video generators. And I can imagine that in just a couple of months from now with a new version, this whole thing with eyes has been solved. And by the way, also that the video dimensions will increase because the largest form factor that you can do at this moment is 720. I will generate high resolution images. I will make them available in the link in the video description. So you can download them for free and use them as a wallpaper or whatever you want to use it for. Hi, I'm Joram and I teach you the skills, tools and mindset you need to build a successful online business. With 20 years of marketing experience, I share it all right here on Success is Made. And if that's your goal too, to succeed online, be sure to subscribe, like this video and leave a comment. It goes a long way. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.